Introduction to Working at Height Work at height is any work activity where, if precautions were not taken, a person could fall a distance liable to cause personal injury. This includes work above or below ground level, near edges, through openings or fragile surfaces, or into holes in the ground. Falls from height are a major cause of workplace fatalities and serious injuries worldwide. Hazards of working at height include a variety of risks that need careful attention. Falls from elevation. This is the most obvious and significant risk, whether from ladders, scaffolds, roofs, platforms or other elevated work areas. Falling objects, tools, equipment or materials dropped from height can strike and injure people below. Unstable working surfaces, fragile roofs, poorly erected scaffolds or uneven platforms can collapse or give way. Adverse weather conditions, wind, rain, ice and snow can make working at height more dangerous by creating slippery surfaces or instability. Improper use of equipment, using the wrong equipment for the job or using equipment incorrectly can lead to accidents. Lack of training and competency. Workers who are not properly trained on safe work practices and the use of equipment are at higher risk. Inadequate planning and risk assessment. Failure to identify hazards and implement appropriate control measures can lead to unsafe work conditions. Precautions. Avoiding work at height. When possible, avoid working at height altogether. If it is unavoidable, ensure that proper safety measures are in place. Always use appropriate fall protection equipment and follow best practices to minimize risks. Regularly inspect your safety gear and never compromise on safety protocols. Remember, your safety is paramount. Precautions for working at height. To mitigate these risks, a comprehensive approach to safety is essential. This involves a hierarchy of control measures, prioritizing the most effective methods first. Avoid work at height. The best way to prevent falls is to eliminate the need to work at height altogether. This can be achieved by designing the work so that it can be done from ground level. Using extendable tools or equipment to reach high areas. Assembling structures at ground level and then lifting them into place. Preventing falls. Prevent falls. If work at height cannot be avoided, measures should be taken to prevent falls from occurring. Guardrails and tow boards. These collective protection measures provide a physical barrier at edges and openings to prevent people and materials from falling. Working platforms. Providing stable and secure platforms with sufficient working space and safe access or egress, such as scaffolding and mobile elevating work platforms. Fall restraint systems. These systems, such as safety harnesses and lanyards connected to anchor points, restrict a worker's movement, preventing them from reaching a fall hazard. Proper ladder use. Ensuring ladders are the correct type for the job, are in good condition, are set up on a stable and level surface at the correct angle, approximately 75 degrees, and are secured to prevent slipping. Workers should maintain three points of contact with the ladder at all times. Covering openings. Any holes or openings in floors or working surfaces should be securely covered to prevent falls. Safe access and egress, providing safe means of getting to and from the work area, such as stairways or properly erected ladders. Minimizing fall distance and consequences, implementing measures to reduce the distance a worker can fall and the severity of any fall that might occur. Minimize the distance and consequences of a fall. 
If preventing falls entirely is not possible, measures should be taken to reduce the distance and impact of a potential fall. Fall Arrest Systems These systems, such as safety harnesses with energy-absorbing lanyards attached to secure anchor points, are designed to safely stop a fall after it has occurred, minimizing the force on the worker's body. It's crucial to calculate the fall clearance distance to ensure the worker doesn't strike a lower level or object. Safety Nets These can be used to catch falling workers or objects in situations where other fall protection measures are not practical. Airbags or crash mats These can be used in specific situations to cushion a fall. Risk assessment is essential. It helps identify potential hazards and determine the necessary precautions to ensure safety. Always conduct a thorough risk assessment before starting any task. General precautions and safe work practices. In addition to the specific control measures mentioned above, the following general precautions and safe work practices are essential when working at height. Risk assessment. A thorough risk assessment should be conducted before any work at height begins to identify all potential hazards and determine the appropriate control measures. Safe work plan and competent persons. It's crucial to have a detailed safe work plan and ensure that all work is carried out by competent persons who are trained and experienced in working at height. Safe work plan. A detailed plan outlining the work to be done, the equipment to be used and the safety procedures to be followed should be developed and communicated to all workers involved. Competent persons. All work at height should be planned, supervised and carried out by competent persons who have the necessary skills, knowledge and experience. Training and equipment inspection. Regular training sessions and thorough inspections of all equipment should be conducted to ensure safety and compliance with regulations. Training workers must receive adequate training on the safe use of equipment, fall protection systems and emergency procedures. Equipment inspection. All equipment used for work at height, including ladders, scaffolds, MEWPs and fall protection equipment, must be inspected before each use to ensure it is in good working order. Regular maintenance and thorough examinations should also be carried out by competent persons. Weather considerations and housekeeping. Weather conditions can significantly impact safety when working at height. It's essential to monitor weather forecasts and take appropriate precautions. Good housekeeping practices, such as keeping work areas tidy and free of debris, are also crucial for preventing accidents. Weather considerations, work at height should be avoided or carefully controlled in adverse weather conditions. Housekeeping, work areas should be kept clear of obstructions and debris to prevent trips and falls. Emergency procedures and permit-to-work systems are essential for maintaining safety in the workplace. Emergency procedures. Clear emergency procedures, including rescue plans in case of a fall, should be in place and communicated to all workers. Permit-to-work systems. For high-risk work at height activities, a permit-to-work system may be implemented to ensure that all necessary safety precautions are in place before work commences. PPE and securing tools. Personal protective equipment and securing tools are essential for safety. Always make sure these are used correctly to prevent accidents. Personal protective equipment or PPE, such as safety helmets, gloves and safety footwear, should be worn in addition to fall protection equipment. Securing tools and materials. Measures should be taken to prevent tools and materials from falling, such as using tool lanyards or securing them in containers. In this section, we'll discuss the importance of avoiding overreaching and wrap up our discussion on working at height safely. 
No overreaching workers should avoid overreaching while working at height as this can lead to instability and falls. By understanding the hazards associated with working at height and implementing comprehensive precautions, including the hierarchy of control and safe work practices, the risks of falls and associated injuries can be significantly reduced, ensuring a safer working environment for everyone. Remember that regulations regarding work at height vary by location, so it's crucial to be aware of and comply with the specific legal requirements in your area.